Hello, my name is Carlos Melian. I've been asked to do a short video uh, tour of my studio. Uh, I live and work in Chicago, specifically in the Avondale neighborhood. Um, I've been here 18 years. Um, in, in Chicago, I've been here 30 years, but in this studio, I've been here 18 years. Uh, I'm going to pan around a little bit just so you can see the space, get a sense of it. Uh, I hope you can get a sense of it. It's a little bit cluttered right now because I have a lot of work out. Uh, and I need to figure out some storage uh, situation, my storage situation. So um, it's it's in a storefront uh, on, in, like I said, in Avondale. Uh, it's about 1,500 square feet, and it's you know for me, it's the studio space is such an important part of my life that uh, I think for most artists, you need to make sure that it's it, it it's conducive to making work. Whether it's palatial studio or small apartment studio or whatever, it doesn't really matter. As long as you can uh, be there, uh, be happy. Uh, and do some work, uh, that's what you want. So for me, you know, I do large paintings, I, you know, so I clearly have some physical uh, con uh, concerns about my studio, but uh, as you can see back there, I do a lot of, I do my own frames, I stretch my own canvas, build my own stretchers, so you see some uh, uh, woodworking of, of equipment back there. But in general, it's really just a space for me to come to uh, every day, and I do work every day. Um, I am now retired from, uh, I used to be Dean of Libraries at Northeastern Illinois University, and uh, I retired three years ago, but I've been, uh, so there's 40 years of work in this building right now. So um, I'm gonna go and talk a little bit about the work I'm on, uh, doing right now. Uh, and so just give me a second to get around my camera. Um, so, the thing that I'm really interested in, and as you see here, there's a lot of work up here, um, is um, uh, changing the view, the viewing, uh, the, 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 the act of viewing from viewing only to comparing. So I, I'm really concerned about uh, comparing, setting up situations on paintings uh, where two, two objects are compared or two panels are compared. A lot, a lot of this work is in multi-panels. That's why you see a lot of work here, because some of it are you know, multi, two or three pieces uh, that we put together. So um, what you see here is um, is work from this is this work here is from December, and then this work here, which I'll get to in a second, is from uh, a week ago. Uh, the, the other thing I'm really concerned about is 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 setting up rules to paint. So I, the rules I have are very simple, and they're you know they're they're just made up. But um, I want the work to be a simple simple acts. You take a line, you cut it, you double it, you make a, you know, longer, wider, whatever, um, and then you put it next to another one. Uh, those simple acts, to me, are what generate uh, compelling images. Um, so that's what I do. I, you know, I, I, these, these these series here are uh, concerned with lines and lines and uh, curves, and I set up situations where I, you know, I specifically note the, the length of them. I copy them um, and uh, and generate some kind of comparison between those. Um, so, and also internally within the, within the painting, there's an other sets of rules, right? So, uh, one set of rules that I've been using since for quite a while now is that the, the image you see uh, has to uh, touch the edge of the canvas one time. Uh, and that's to sort of uh, promote this sort of non-compositional part of it. You know, no, there's no necessity for a special composition. As long as you hit the edge of the canvas, you, you're maxed out. Uh, and so that's what I've been doing. So you, as you see in this, in this painting here, um, this curve, the curve is here. It's 152 inches. And it hits the top. It hits the bottom, the side. And down here, if you note, the, the, the ed, end of the curve uh, it hits both the bottom and the side. I'm also, lately, I've been trying to uh, minimize the painting part of this. Uh, I'm trying to make it more like drawings with minimal amount of painting. So, in this case, you see um, this raw canvas, you see uh, pencil lines, and then the only painting is the back background, which is the pink part, which is off background and uh, part of the object, the, the, the line, and this, this line, uh, this rectangle. <coughs> the, the, the sense that this is 152 inches, I just said, and the, the, this rectangle, this rectangle, and this rectangle add up to 152 inches. So again, you set up this comparison with a curve. If you split it up and, and straighten it, uh, you'll get the, the, same, the same amount of uh, distance. So the, the title to this work, uh, which all my work is untitled uh, in caps, so untitled, and then in parentheses, I explain what it is. So in this case, it's untitled, parentheses, 152 inch curve, 
split into three segments and straightened. So, um, so again, there's this sense of comparison across the, the plane. Um, the, that was, this was made last December. Bring you here to this, to this piece. Uh, and this is, uh, I finished this about a week ago, and I'm not quite sure, I'm, I, I'm not settled on it yet. Uh, that's the way I work. I finish something and then I, um, I sit with it for a while, sometimes a couple days, sometimes a week, sometimes a month. Uh, and then I decide whether it's, it's done or it needs to be redone um, or, put, or thrown away, basically. Uh, those are the options you have. Um, I have. Anyway, so this is the same, same concept there. In this case, as you see, for this, this was made December, this was made last week. Um, it's progressed into multiple curves as opposed to one curve. Multiple curves, all the same size. So this, these are 36 inch long curves in lines. Um, and to me, it's, you know, lines are curves that have been straightened out. So, uh, th these, there's 13 of these now, uh, and the, the other rule I adopted here, uh, in addition to the rule where you have to touch each, each side, as you can see in here, you can see here, you can see here, the other rule I've adopted for these, this set, of, and I've got several going on right now, uh, for this set of paintings is they also have to touch each other. Uh, at least once, right? So each of these curves, lines, touch another curved line uh, and set up these, these uh, areas of, of, of shapes. Like here's a shape, but it's, it's caused by touching the two curves. Um, the other thing I'm very interested in is this sort of uh, contradiction between a foreground and background. So as you see here, um, this blue, which is mainly the background, the color of the painting, is also a foreground, right? This, this, these curves are also blue, they're the same color. Uh, and then up here, the, the background changes to this tan, but it's also the same color as this, as this foreground, this object. Uh, over here, it's just it's purple. It's a purple background all of a sudden. Um, it's still background here because here's the, the foreground. Uh, and then that doesn't touch any, any object, but Here's one with just object that that's, uh, doesn't touch any, any that touches other objects, but doesn't touch, a, it's not the same color as the background. And here it's background and, and foreground, same color. This little thing here is uh, basically just background as well, although it's different than this one because it's not on the edge, uh, and it looks like a shape, and that's what I like about it. Um, I, I, I draw these out, as you can see, this, these, all this white paper out here, I draw these out um, full scale. And uh, just so I know what I can expect when I'm drawing them on canvas, I don't want to get there and have a, cam a big hole in my canvas that I can't figure out where to put in there. So uh, I draw them out first, and then I, uh, I redraw them on the canvas, and I then start doing the painting. Um, the, regarding the color, uh, I'm not a colorist. I don't, I'm not interested in color theory. I'm not interested in that kind of stuff. So um, I'm, yes, I get to the color a certain way, just kind of subjectively. But I'm not investigating color per se. I'm not. That's not my. I'm not interested in that. So the color is kind of you know arbitrary. But I get there at some point. Um, you know, with with a series of viewing, thinking, and making sure it kind of looks the way I want it to look. But um, that's all about the color. As you can see, I also do a lot of drawings. I do a lot of these 24 by 36 drawings. Some are studies for the bigger paintings. Some are just drawings on themselves. Um, so. I'm pretty busy. I work, like I said, I work every day. Um, I have a lot of work going on at the same time. I like having two or three things going on at the same time, um, and I've been doing that for, for many, many years. So um, I hope you like this little show, um, and please come see the show in October, and thank you for coming.